G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now this hand came from uh, the Autumn National Swiss Pairs that I went over and played and I think it's a really cool hand for like drawing inferences to try and place the missing cards and then coming up with an appropriate plan for how you can actually make it. Anyway, uh, let's just jump straight in and I'll walk you through the first part of it. It went pass, pass, pass to me and I opened a spade and then we got a two club overcall and my partner Q raised. Now, my hand is complete garbage after the two club overcall, so I just signed off in three spades, but they decided to uh, bump me up to four anyway. Okay, and we get the seven of hearts lead. So, first of all, um, my partner's got ten points and a six card diamond suit, possible source of tricks, so I understand why they put me into four spades, but this is not looking good. Like... The, we've got three club losers, we've got a diamond loser, we've got uh, a spade loser, and we've got issues with the ten of spades as well. I have to do something with my third round of hearts, so... Like, I would understand if I went like three down in this contract. Anyway, uh, whenever trumps are a bit of an issue and you've got a lot of work to do, often uh, setting up your side suit early is a good idea. Anyway. Uh, so, we got heart lead, and I won the ace of hearts. And I won the ace of hearts. Uh, so, decided to play diamond. So, I let a low diamond, and ace thought for a while, and then hopped up with the ace of diamonds. Okay? And switched to the jack of clubs. Now, from the bidding, I know that the ace of clubs is offside, so I just played low. And this is the first bit of good fortune, is the jack of clubs held and then they switch to a heart. Okay, so at this stage I want you to try and pause the video and try and work out what your plan is from here and what inferences you can draw about where the missing cards are. So give yourself some time to work out how you actually want to play this one. Okay, so a quick recap. Uh, we're in four spades. We've got the seven of hearts lead, which went to the ace. Uh, then I let a low diamond and ace topped up with the ace of diamonds and then played the jack of clubs, which held the trick and they now had to switch to the Queen of Hearts. So, we know clubs are 6-1, and that West has Ace-Queen to 6 clubs, because otherwise Ace would be continuing clubs. So we just know that's what's going on. We also know that uh, East overcalled two clubs, and these the people we were playing were uh, not hyper-aggressive. So I didn't think that they were going to be over calling two clubs on ace queen to six. Now if they didn't have any other points, like we already know they've got no points in diamonds, hearts, um, diamonds or hearts, so if they've only got six points they probably would have le leaned towards uh, preempting three clubs straight away. So what I could do is I can mark west with the king of spades. Okay, so I know that the West Hand's got the King of Spades, which means taking a Spade Finesse will be futile. So I don't need to, like, win, rough, take a Spade Finesse, hope that there's King 10 Doubleton Spade or anything like that, because the bidding has revealed, and the play to this point has revealed, that West has the King of Spades. Now, if West has the King of Spades, the only way that I can actually make this is if I drop it Singleton. Okay, because if I let West on lead with the King of Spades, they've also got their uh, Ace of Clubs to come as well. So here, I went up with the uh, King of Hearts, and just threw a club away, and then laid down the Ace of Spades, okay, so which dropped the King of Spades. Okay, second bit of good fortune right here. Now, this hand's a bit of an open book at this stage, so... Um, I'll open up the cards so that you can see what, what's going on, because we sort of know uh, where all the cards are by this stage. But I want you to pause it again and work out how do we actually make it from this stage. Because here we've still got a loser with the Ten of Spades, and we've got some issues here. So what I worked out to do here is that uh, East is going to score their Ten of Spades. There's nothing I can do about that. But... If I don't draw all the trumps, but uh, keep going with my diamonds, so Queen of Diamonds, and you could overtake it and run diamonds at them, but this is fine. I can also now cross in spades. Okay, 
So when I play a spade to the uh, queen or jack, I leave this last spade in the north hand as an entry to get back here. Now when I play the top diamonds, if east roughs in low, I over rough and I've got the rest of the tricks. If east roughs in with the ten of spades, I ditch my heart, and now what happens is when they play a heart, they give me a rough and discard, and again I can get back to that north hand. And if they just don't rough, I just keep rattling diamonds off and pitching my clubs and my hearts, and there's nothing that they can do. So there's sort of a weird hand where you sort of trump coup them, or I, I don't exactly know the terminology here, but it's a really cool hand where they can either rough high and we get to ditch hearts, which gives us the ability to uh, draw trumps and continue run, running diamonds, or if they never rough at all, we just get to take all our discards. So I thought this was a really cool hand for drawing inferences from the bidding to place where the missing cards are, realizing that the king of spades is now offside, and our only hope is to drop the singleton king. And then once we've done that, then we can do this cool play with diamonds and trumps, leaving the trumps out, giving them the choice to rough high when they want, but they're a bit stuck and we've always got a good answer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this hand, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.